You're about to listen to Welcome to Fairmont, the second episode of the second year of the show, Welcome to Fairmont. I know, it's not confusing at all. But hey, congrats, you found us! We're so glad you've decided to listen. This show, as always, has been produced by Colleen Fries and myself, Alana Orion. If you want to hear our other episodes, you can look us up on YouTube at, I'm going to say it again here, Welcome to Fairmont. It's another new day, listeners. I'm not sure about you, but being able to say that with certainty is still something of a novelty to me. I'm sure it won't last long. Anyway, I'm Psyche. And I'm Harmony. And we're here with you again to bring you another update on what's going on in our school, and now, our community. That's right. Today we're able to tell you about events taking place outside of just our school, such as the annual book swap. Which I have fond memories of. Or the new menu at the coffee shop around the corner. Of course, we'll keep you updated on what's going on around the school, as usual, but our point is, that's not all. We are really reveling in our newfound expansion of the world as we know it. It's been quite the experience for me since I had no concept of the world outside of school to begin with. You may be wondering, how can you have no concept of outside of school even as the rest of us come to terms with this dual existence? And I think it's time we told you what really happened in the radio room last year. Finally! It took you guys absolutely forever to even understand what was happening, let alone tell people. I guess it was too much to hope that you wouldn't keep doing this after your prophecy came to pass. At this point, why don't you just get your own radio show? I just might, but I happen to like you two and all of your listeners. Besides, how are you going to know if something is going to happen if I'm not around to tell you? It's not our concern what's going to happen. We're a news source. We're supposed to report on the recent past. And besides that, you've derailed me from talking about what happened again. Didn't you want me to share that? Well, yes. Fine, go ahead. Thank you. Wait, what was I saying? What really happened in the radio room last year. Oh, right, yes. It's time I told you what really happened in the radio room last year. The truth about me is that I never entered here in the first place. When I was killed a year and a half ago, Something happened to create harmony out of nothing more than the coincidental strings of the universe snagging around me at just the right moment. That's how I knew that the time was coming for the end of the plane of existence the school was nestled in. It was said in a prophecy, which apparently crossed universes, that the merge would be signaled by the creation of a being, born of violence but destined to bring peace. So, I always had to die. If I didn't, then Harmony would never have been created. Not that I don't love you dearly, but sometimes I wish you hadn't died. Yeah, me too. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't you think that's a little dark for a school news program? Yes, sorry about that, listeners. We still don't know who the killer is, but investigations have been ongoing since Seki died, so we'll inform you if any new information comes to light. In other news today, the annual book swap dates were announced. The event will be held on the first and third weekends of next month in the old gym across town, where it has been held for the last two years. If you recall, before it was held in the old gym, the book swap was held in your home, where you would, of course, wake up in the morning and find that some of your books had been switched with someone else's books. Now that it has been moved to the old gym, you have to go there to get someone else's books. That sounds like a lot of fun. It is. You should check it out and bring me something. I think I just might at that. What else is going on? Wait! What was that about? She just... Actually, you know what? Never mind. I just can't even be bothered asking anymore. Let's be honest here. We will probably find out about it one way or another. Oh, please tell me it's not another prophecy. I couldn't say. Anyway, we should be going to the weather. Good afternoon, listeners. This is Jack Carmody with today's weather. Today is going to be warm for early March in the high 190s, so make sure you dress appropriately for that. It's expected that the sun will stay up for an extra 20 minutes or so this evening, but temperatures will drop off sharply to near freezing after the sun goes down, so just be prepared for that as well. Thanks, Carmody. Before we move back into the news, we have a couple public service announcements for you. Did you know that we have a literary magazine here? Well, we do. Silence creeps into your nostrils. Your eyes are filled with emptiness. You feel nothing. Airy Literary Magazine. Join. Submit. Buy. Support your classmates in their artistic endeavors. Support Airy. Hello, Fairmont. This is Jack Carmody. You might know me from my weather reports here on WKET. 
I'm here to ask you to stand with me to get nighttime classes here at Fairmont for all of us who still can't leave. It's more important now than it ever has been before since we now have to consciously sit through the night. So join me in this fight and together we can make a difference. Thanks for sticking with us this long, Fairmont. It's about a quarter and a third after the hour, and we wanted to share with you more on the story of what really happened in the radio room last year. But before we get to that, we have to announce the menu changes at the coffee shop around the corner. For the coming spring season, they've added an all-natural grass cafe with horse milk, which you can get topped with a goat milk whipped cream, and for an extra 50 cents, you can get it topped with live grubs for an authentic backyard taste. You could also get a nice refresher sweetened with all natural cane sugar if grass isn't your thing, but you still want that caffeine kick. I was always more of a black coffee person myself, but thankfully, you're not me. You're not bitter at all, are you? Bitter as my coffee. That will be it for our community updates for the day, unless something else happens to come up in the next few minutes. Now, to wrap up our story about what really happened in the radio room last year. As we've told you, Psyche had to die in order for me to exist, and apparently I had to exist for the school to get out of its time loop thingy. But there have been other things that happened as a result of all this. This shift, for instance, would be significantly different if that hadn't happened. Remember that parallel version of me that wasn't dead? Oh god, don't remind me. But there's also the fact that I'm stuck haunting the radio room, and Harmony's now free to truly leave if she wants. In fact, she went and stayed with my family over the summer, which I think was a good experience for everyone involved. Except for me, but, you know. I mean, at least they come and visit every so often. Not that they can see me, but yeah. And they tune in. Shout out to my family, who apparently listens to our show. I miss them, but I'm glad at least you get the chance to live a normal life. Yeah. Of course, we're not the only ones who were in the radio room when things happened last year. There was, as you may know, the series of events that pulled the director out of their office. To this day, we don't know what became of Patrick and Willie, though I don't think anyone's inclined to find out. There was also Lydia's zombification, which didn't happen in the radio room, but happened while she was on a radio assignment. And hey, I think she's back from what she was doing. Hey, Lydia, can you come talk to people about what happened in the radio room last year? Yeah, most of you were able to listen when all of that happened, but basically I became a zombie and learned a bunch of languages and stuff. It's been cool, except for people being generally afraid of me outside of school. It's like they think I'm going to start the zombie apocalypse or something. That's ignorant. It really is. But hey, I need to go finish something up that I'm working on. Alright, thanks Lydia. Listeners, our beloved zombie is not going to start an apocalypse. And if she does, it won't be some petty zombie horde. It'll be far more sophisticated and inevitable. She's a classy and highly educated individual. That being said, we are about out of time for the day. Thanks for listening, Fairmont. Happy nightmares. Welcome to Fairmont is a WKET production produced and performed by Colleen Fries as Psyche and Alana Orion as Harmony. The other voices you heard today were McKenna Kramer as Misty, Cameron Knopf as Jack Carmody, and Lydia Fries as her zombified self. Thanks again for tuning in with us today. We really appreciate your support of our work. Make sure to listen for us again in two weeks when we will release our third episode of the year, Player's Guide. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at FHS Media, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Welcome to Fairmont, so you can catch up on last year and stay updated on our latest content. Thanks. Happy nightmares.